crimson consequence. Um, is this your first map? I don't know if I've seen you before, seen your name around. Uh, in any case, uh, let's see what you got for us. A hundred. First speed map, how about that? Cool. Uh, and a hundred monsters to boot. Before us are several power ups. You know which one I'm picking. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, I'll go pick up another quad and come back. Let me go get those shamblers. I really dig this so far. Really cool setup. And very un like aesthetically interesting. But damn, it's a lot of monsters. I should probably find the nail gun before I proceed. I'll use this. Swing past all these guys. Press the funny looking button. Oh. I'll accept it. Oh, oh. All right, that was just a that was just a trial run. This one's for real now. I'm gonna try and collect the weapons, and then come back and fight everybody. This area is very interesting. Man, we made this in 24 hours. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, that's the one I need. that vor damn it all right keep the party going
Whoops. I ran out of gas at the Shambler Park. Alright, so all of that, I don't know what I've accomplished. I'm going to save the game in case I get careless. Blockiness? Is it like, uh, could it be compression? I probably need to adjust my bitrate and stuff. Ever since building a new computer, I haven't been able to get my settings exactly right. bottom of the button that I pressed. There's a bit of compression. Okay. Yeah, I don't stream very often. So, my settings are probably not as honed as they would be otherwise. Right. I think that was a good run. That calls for another save. I see a playback bitrate of 6,000k. Fine tuning is needed. Quake is generally a dark game. Yeah, and I'm running it at like the default gamma. Uh, another thing to keep in mind, I'm running... Uh, my settings are... R, uh, I'm running R scale 2 which shrinks the internal resolution or does some other wizardry that makes the game look more classic. Um, so it could also be that. I feel like death is around the corner. I know I'm gonna get cocky and try and make a jump that I'm gonna totally screw up. Just caught up on the video on demand. Looks like you liked that one. I streamed the first five hours of the build. Took eight hours total. Eight hours, man. Jeez. I think you guys uh, finally surpassed me. You and Ish. Ing finally surpassed me in the uh, map output department. And it's like, you made that in eight hours? You know? What am I supposed to do? I can't, I can't do that. I don't have it in me. 
That and, you know, life's getting a little busier and a little crazier. And I'm trying to focus more on making, like, individual solid releases. Not that I've made any yet. But now that Map Jam 10's over, Map Jam X, uh, yeah, now with Map Jam 10 out of the way, I'm going to be focusing more on my own individual projects and less on jams and speed maps. I think the stream made me work harder. Also, output varies. There's already another session started. Yeah, that's true. SM196 is currently underway, so... I will not be participating in that one either. As far as this map's concerned, this was solid. I really loved all of these little platforming uh, bits and uh, the parts with the narrow walkways and everything. Uh, but what I really liked about it uh, is that even though like you have all these jumps and stuff, you can kind of freely move around. And that makes it really cool. Uh, I don't know how I feel about giving the player power-ups like that at the start, but the map is pretty much covered in monsters. And I only found one secret. I don't even know how I found that secret. It's just like I incidentally walked into it. Um, but yeah, this was a tremendous effort, Zungri, Zungri Wear. Uh, you wanted it to feel like an arena. Yeah, yeah, it has an arena vibe to it for sure. Uh, but not really, because you got all these really cool little standing, like freestanding things you can jump around on. Uh, make more maps.